So let's go ahead and take a look at the Nook application for the iPad. When you open it up, you're going to have a bookshelf here of all the titles available for you to use with the Nook application. Let's go ahead and choose this one here, for example. Now, like many of the e-readers, um, you can simply navigate back and forth through a left or right finger motion. Now, with the Nook application, um, it can display diagrams and other images as well, but one thing in compared to some of the other applications is there is no ability to to zoom in and get a closer look at the content. There's no pinching available or shrinking down to see much larger. Also if you look closely within this image you'll see that there is a little bit of distortion of the image which um, this is only a diagram. You can imagine what a high resolution CAT scan or um, EKG would look like on the reader. Now it does have pretty good markup capabilities and simply just choose a word, hold down, and then just go ahead and drag to what areas you want highlighted. Um, you'll see a menu pop up for highlight. You can also add a note there as well and uh, make a little note to yourself for that section. Save note. Now to see the menu, just go ahead and click anywhere on the screen, and what you'll see at the top of the screen here is a menu that gives you options for text size, some of the more settings as far as brightness, and some of the other features as far as highlight color, etc. that could be changed as well. Um, and that pretty much covers the application. It does have a search feature, as most of the other applications do, and again, this is for um, the Nook app for iPad, which is a Barnes & Noble device. Thank you.